Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's take a look at your no contact situation, current energies for your person, 10 of cups and the eight priestess in reverse. This person can still give importance to the connection with you, 10 of cups. Some of you were committed to this individual, but unfortunately the situation didn't go well. They cannot find the proper clarity about the adjustments that should be manifested in favor of the opportunity to do things in a new way compared with the one that couldn't offer satisfaction to the two of you. This person is still thinking about the opportunity to find long-term success with you, but it's like they are refusing to pay attention to the details that truly matter. The priestess in reverse can describe someone that can become vocal, someone that can speak up. This person would love to do that. The problem is that the priestess in reverse can also describe someone that cannot go deep in the evaluation of the factors that can be decisive in order to handle a situation in the best possible way. And this is something that can even compromise the opportunity to manifest a vision into reality. The Three of Wands, bottom of the deck, can describe a desire for future growth, expansion, but it's also an energy about intentions. So this person can consider the connection with you as a plus in their life, but it's like they are looking only at the factors that can be positive, yes, but by choosing also to turn a blind eye consciously on the factors that didn't work in favor of the connection. So what's holding them back? Three of swords in reverse, eight of wands. They would love to talk, but they can be aware of the fact that the three of swords already found a way to be manifested. They can say that it's possible for the two of you to work things out. They would love to do that. They can think about the opportunity to reach out in order to say, look, whatever happened, happened. Let's leave it behind and let's rebuild our connection in a new way. And this can be lovely words, but is it possible to manifest this type of outcome into reality? The Eight of Wands, guys, Cupid's Arrows, Arrows of Love, seems to be an energy about a desire to communicate this person would love to have the chance to share with you more than a couple of words because it's possible that they can say how they miss the connection with you, how they miss the moments that the two of you shared, but they can miss the good times. What about the hard times? Because they were involved in the connection. And this person can also hesitate because they can think that you are looking in a different direction now and maybe some of you are doing that and you may have good reasons but this person is not over the connection they are not over you and they can try to ask other people information about you the eight of ones they can still struggle to take action in order to reach out, but guys, they may very well decide to do so because we got the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups in the will they reach out position. So the Ace of Cups is a new offer and it seems that this person would love to share the Ace with you among the potential other options that can be available around the two of you. And at the same time, though, they can question, because of the Seven of Cups, questions and doubts type of meaning, the opportunity for you to still be interested in working things out with them. This person can also be someone that can lack a meaningful amount of clarity, High Priestess in reverse, Seven of Cups upright, about the fact that the connection may have hit a wall for reasons that shouldn't be ignored or overlooked and only passion or the mere idea that they can still be in love with you are not sufficient reasons in order to grant in favor of this connection 
a chance to manifest a reconciliation. And this person can even be someone that can be lost if they think about the opportunity to move in a different direction without you by their side. But they will have to figure things out because the odds are not in their favor. The Ace of Cups is a gift from the heart and they can say that they are still in love with you, but what's working against them is an overall lack of clarity. This person can be an indecisive individual. They can be genuine in the opportunity to give importance to the connection with you, but unfortunately, the connection couldn't work also because of their mindset. And some of you may not be willing to overlook that aspect, and you shouldn't if you ask me. So this person can bring to your attention an apology, a major one, and also a phrase that can be like this one, look, things didn't go well between the two of us, but I still love you. Let's try again. Give me another chance. Please forgive me. Beautiful words, beautiful, but there can be certain factors that cannot play in favor of the opportunity to reconcile. And this person may just try to get things going with you once again, because if they manage to get that starting point, you know, that ignition, well, maybe you can be kind of more available to see how things can unfold this time for the connection. This person is daydreaming, guys, about you. They are daydreaming because they think that the connection kind of represents the only positive thing in their life. This is not good. This is not good because this person cannot think things straight and they can almost see the connection as a safety blanket for them. But they can also forget consciously about the factors that manifested the Tree of Swords energy. They can pretend that everything can be left behind. I wouldn't be so sure. And so if some of you have already started to look in a different direction, even if you get a grand gesture from this person, you may consider the opportunity to keep looking for someone else, something different, because this connection may belong to the past already. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.